So here we're going to be looking at growth site temperature monitoring. So there's a lot of different systems out there. Models sometimes after home systems, we're monitoring many conditions at once uh, through maybe smart devices or other kind of wireless systems. So this is just kind of give you an idea of monitoring your growth site and temperature in particular are also very important. So starting with the basics, well, depending on the size of your grow operation, you may want to consider multiple thermometers. For large operations, it's recommended that you install multiple what's called min-max thermometers. Uh, they tell you basically over time the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature that your um, area has experienced. And this simply, you can see here, it shows you the maximum when it pushes up and the minimum down here. So it's very efficient and quick read, and you push this button and it resets itself. The reason why I say you may want to install multiples, depending on the size of your area, you may want to put one near the ceiling, in the plant canopy, and near the floor to give you a better idea of what's actually going on in the grow environment. Probably the most important one, of course, is the one near the plant canopy, but if you're seeing something odd going on there, sometimes you might want to install some other ones just to get an idea of what might be going on above or even below the plants. Now, an advanced system would be in to install what's called a data logger. This can help track multiple conditions at regular intervals to help you make informed decisions and also double check to make sure everything is working properly. Here's one example of a field one on the outside near a grape field, and this is monitoring a whole host of things. It can be wind direction, wind speed, rainfall, temperature, um, amount of sunlight. Um, so there can be a lot of things you can look at. Make some very small ones here um, to monitor temperature. Um, so the sky's the limit on what you want to monitor, but keep in mind uh, that the more conditions you can monitor, the more odds you are to have control over what you can uh, yield from year to year. The better idea you have on what went right or what went wrong, the better idea it can give you to make modifications going forward. Now there's thermostats. So we're looking at that grow room, that grow area. There's something called single stages and double stages. Single stage are set for either heating or cooling when temperature goes above or below a certain setting. So they're called single stage. When you hit that temperature, I'm going to turn on either the exhaust fan if it's getting too warm, or it could turn on the heater if it's getting too cold. A double stage is a single unit that has two temperatures to help you maintain uh, the temperature within a very specific range. So for example, if it hits one temperature, it can turn a fan on, that's when the temperature is getting too hot. Or when it's getting too cold, it can turn on a heater all within a single unit here. That's why it's called double stage, because it kind of has an upper, a maximum, and a minimum band there. The single stage will just be one temperature and one result. Thermostat placement is very important. So where you select to physically place your thermostat is critical for its ability to function properly. You want to consider the vertical location and also the sun or light exposure that you may have. Keep in mind hot air rises and cold air sinks, so where you mount that thermostat will gauge and affect um, when your ear, when your uh, exhaust fan may come on or also may affect when your heater comes on. So you keep in mind of where you actually place that should be very representative of your grow facility. Now choosing between digital or analog units that can be debated. Digitals allow for an exact control but can have a higher failure rate in part due to the high humidity that these are typically placed in. So just keep that in mind. They're getting better systems, but if it's an area where it's going to be a lot of irrigation, a lot of humidity, those have a higher tendency of failing. Analogs may have some more play in them exactly as far as what that exact temperature may be, but often can be more reliable and more robust, especially in grow facilities where you're dealing with a lot of humidity and a lot of chance of water, um, splash, and so on and so forth. So again, they both can ideally do the same job. The digital can give you some more controls, but could have a chance at failure. Um, the mechanical ones might have a little bit more play in them, but once you get them dialed in, can be a little bit more robust.